I am from Sharpsburg, Georgia. I am just turned 23. Yeah, I'm a triplet actually. And I also have a baby brother. Are they all in fashion too? No, not at all. We're like complete opposites, so. Is she the reason why you got into business? Yeah, I mean, she's always like inspired me to like go out there and do whatever I want to do. College was a choice, but I kind of like said like, forget that. Like I want to do modeling and acting. So I did that and then, but I always wanted to get into fashion. So, but I never thought I would own my own business. So. What obstacles have you faced it so far? I get frustrated a lot just cause like I didn't go to school for fashion. So I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm kind of winging it here, but like it's gone really well so far. I'm like self-taught trying to learn how to sew. I tried to make festival outfits and it was kind of an epic fail. Um, but I didn't let it get me down. I just like kept going. If anything, it's taught me to keep going and not give up. So, so you describe all this stuff as grungy. Yeah. Grungy, distressed. Mm -hmm obsessed with it obviously yeah almost everything's bleached it just makes like a five dollar shirt into like a masterpiece you know just because i like work so hard on them um my grandma oh. so i actually don't really i'm still dabbling with sewing but i was like if anyone's gonna teach me it's gonna be my grandma so i drove out to see her in orlando one weekend and she just taught me how to sew It's one year anniversary is coming up in October. Are you going to do a fashion show for it? Yes. My first one was a few weeks ago and it was like insane because I never thought that I would be having a fashion show with Edge not even being a year old. And it was like the best night of my life easily. And so for the one year we're doing an October show and we're going to have all the models and like special effects makeup and it's going to be like 10 times more than the last one. Like we actually have time to do like more choreography and all that stuff. So it's going to be like really, really dope. My sister actually used to work at District, the club that held the fashion show. So she got me hooked on with the owner of the club and was like, oh, we would love to hold a fashion show. That's something different other than just a concert. So I was like, oh my God, that would be awesome. I didn't really think it would actually happen, but it did. I hired all the models. All of them were my friends, so they, of course they did it for free. I made all the shirts. I had hair and makeup team, which were also my friends. So they did it for exposure. So pretty much like budget wise, all I was paying for was my supplies I needed to make the shirts, which was awesome. And then after the show, I got to sell the shirts. So I ended up making money on top of that. How long does it take to design one of those? It all depends. If it's a bleached one, it takes about three days. Because once I bleach it, I have to wash it, not to hang it to dry. And then I have to distress it. And distressing is not as easy as it looks because once you once it's ripped, it's ripped. So mm -hmm. I've never thrown away a shirt though. Nice. So you just Even go if it. I've messed up a little, I've always made it into something else, like added safety pins or added chain to it, you know? Yeah. I always figure out a way to like make it work. How do you want your fashion line to reflect kind of your personality? My like style is kind of out there, so I want to show like my personality is pretty out there. If you could have one famous person model your clothing, who would it be? Probably Cara Delevingne or the uh, transgender girl, Jules. I would love her to model my clothing. And do you model at your own shows? Um, no, I, I make sure that like, I want all of my stuff. I want like other girls to get the limelight. You know, like I mm -hmm. want, cause most of my models that I had walked for me had never walked before in their life. And they were like, Kelsey, oh my God, the music, the clothes made me so confident. And, I just kind of recently came out to my mom that I was bisexual and it took her a while to kind of accept that. I got judged by her and my sister, kind of. But she finally has, which is like the coolest thing in the world. I was like super, I was super young. I was like 17, 18, I want to say. I was at an Odessa show at the Old Masquerade. And I was like by myself, completely sober. And I was just like, oh my God, this music's amazing. Like, wow, this is so cool. And I was like making friends around me with all these like gay guys. And it was like the best <laughs> night ever. Because I mean, being surrounded by gay guys, come on, it's gonna be a good night. Um, and so kind of like, you know, found myself in that way, like musically, you know, and just like being happy and being positive and stuff. And then I started working at um, the America's Mart for a designer, I was like modeling clothes and I was like, 
talking to the designer I was waiting for and I was like, oh, like, how'd you get into this? Like, this would be so cool. Like, I would love to do this. And he's like, you can do it. You just have to go out there and do it. And I was mm-hmm. like, I mean, I guess you're right. I was like, I've always wanted to like, you know, kind of dabble with it. Like, I feel like I can make denim jackets. Um, and he's like, we'll start on Instagram and see, see where it goes. And so literally that next week I came up with a name and I started my own business. What do you do when you're not, you know, working on your, your business? Um, hanging out with the fam. Mm-hmm. My little brother is like my everything. And like, it's impossible for me to be sad around him. So I always hang out with him. But I'm almost always working. Like, if I'm out at home, yeah. I'm always working. Like, I'm, like, obsessed with it. Yeah. So you work weekends, always just thinking about it. Yep. And I'll be, like, out the club. I'm like, man, I'm not having that much fun. I should stay home to work. Is but, it ever... Does focusing on work ever take you away from, like, family and friends? And... Mm-mm. No. It's, like, a really good balance. If anything, it's, like, helped more, you know, like... Having having like a business and something makes me feel like I'm part of something, you know. I'm not just going out on the weekends and just like, you know, like feeling like crap stuff. I always have something to come back to. 